guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rides. We're back here at my favorite filming spot location because guess what? We have that one brand from Germany that really has brought luxury for a long period of time and this is one of their new ones. This is a 2024 Mercedes-Benz. This particular one is a GLE 450E. But before we get into this refreshed plug-in electric hybrid two-row mid-size SUV, let's talk about what's going on here. Things are changing in the auto industry. There's a lot of movement, as we talked about, with pure BEVs, battery electric vehicles. And Mercedes-Benz is no stranger. We already brought to you the EQS, the EQE. Those are full electric sedans and SUVs. This one, I really feel, bridges the gap nicely. This is a plug-in electric hybrid. So you're going to have good old internal combustion engine with electric motor and, of course, pure EV range to the lineup. Now, with this GLE, there are some refresh changes across the board for this particular model. And when you look at the competition, BMW does have an X5e that would kind of be the main competition, but there's still some others out there, especially the Genesis GV80, which kind of takes a totally different direction. But what I want to find out is, if you're looking for that two-row luxury midsize SUV that kind of brings the style, brings some other features, is the Mercedes-Benz the way to go over the BMW or possibly the Genesis? Let's go ahead, let's dive in our GLE 450E and find out. Right off the bat, the color. It's called Cardinal Red. You don't see a lot of red Mercedes-Benz products. And what's interesting is that they went through 45 different species of Cardinals to get this shade. Now at the front of the business, you're gonna still see that great setup of headlight style that they have. You can see our turn signals, LED, daytime running lamps, and those projector beam, multi LED headlight setup. Working our way down, you'll see some refresh going on, but I am gonna have to zonk it. I'm not digging the fake vent. I wish they would have done something a little bit more here, maybe some corner air curtains, maybe some fog lamps, but definitely something a little bit more than fake vent. I do like the way they brought this horizontal bar with some of the silver trim because it matches nicely with what's on the grill. Now, as we come across that iconic grill shape and design, and of course the silver star, you're gonna have a little bit of shiny chrome finish, some nice satin metallic silver, and then you're not gonna confuse that logo with any other brand out there. We do have a forward facing camera, and I'm also digging these vertical gloss black slots, fully functional. We do have some functionality in the center as well, and along the bottom portion, and you'll notice how for this refresh, they take the shiny chrome bit and they kind of curve it underneath the vehicle in the front. Really gives it a unique look, kind of balancing luxury with that SUV feel. Now, when we get up onto the hood, you're gonna get a double bulge. And what is better than just one bulge, but to have two? Two bulges are better than one. Love the way you have that iconic shape to this GLE. And then of course, the Mercedes-Benz, the Silver Star. So much history going back, not only to luxury, but also Grand Prix racing, Formula One, and everything in between. Now, as we come around the bend, what are we working with? Wheel and tire setup. So on this particular one, we have these 19 inch wheels, metallic, silver, multi-spoke design. Not the sexiest of wheels, but it definitely pops with the Cardinal Red. If you're wondering, well, Joe, what's the size of these wheels? 275 in the width, 55 series sidewall. This does have all wheel drive and regen braking because we do have a lithium ion battery pack for that plug-in hybrid technology. One of my zonks is I wish they would have just painted everything Cardinal Red. Let me know how you feel about that, especially on a Mercedes-Benz. Get rid of the flat black. It's not like you're taking this off-road, have it painted. But with the silver, like I said, it does kind of pop with the red. Now coming down the side, super clean. You'll notice you get color matched on the mirror caps, your turn signals, 360 degree cameras. We have bright, shiny metalwork top and bottom around the window frames. You do have your shiny roof rails. Get your crossbars. You could use this as that journey, family trip kind of SUV. They even give you a little bit of a stationary running board, aluminum running board with some 
material there so you don't have any slip. You got nice grip and this will allow you to kind of get up on top to, uh, you know, get the cargo carry up there, your kayaks, plus you can do some calf raises. So this is a great way to get your calf raises in. Everybody always says, hey Joe, what do you do for a calf workout? I just go ahead and get the press fleet vehicle and do some calf raises. Now coming down the side, you do have some chrome on the door handles and color match. And then working our way to the rear, this door is for the fuel. On the driver's side is the door to plug in. Make sure you don't get that reversed because that's gonna be a problem. Rear quarter window, nice shape coming into the rear lift back area. And as we swing wide, just like we started up front, very clean design. You have a nice low roof spoiler. I wish they would integrate this underneath that spoiler, but I do have to give them a little bit of a thumbs up. They actually put the Mercedes Benz logo on the tip of the rear wiper. Very, very attention detail oriented. Formatic, what does that mean? That doesn't mean that it's a four speed automatic. It means it has all wheel drive. We got our full LED lighting and Mercedes Benz does a great job with that. Of course, the Silver Star prominently displayed with a little bit of chrome trim. GLE 450E. They basically used every letter and number that they possibly could. And then as we work our way down, oh, you got exhausts that are finished nicely. Mm, don't think so. They're actually fake. So you do get this chrome trim ring, fake exhaust on both sides. That is a zong. Just leave it off. Why do we need to even go that route? But as you can see in the center, a little bit more chrome, just like up front, and we do have full towing capability. But why don't we go ahead, let's pop the hood and see what's powering our 450E. All right, guys, we got the hood popped. You do have hood struts. Now, what's interesting is most owners will probably never pop their own hood, but you are greeted to some beautiful carbon fiber right at the front. Underneath the hood, a lot of plastic, and they did a good job kind of covering up things because you do have a smaller engine, remember. We have the two liter inline four turbocharged engine paired with an electric motor. Now here's the kicker, 381 horsepower, 479 pound-feet of torque, zero to 60 in about 5.8 seconds. It uses a 23.3 kilowatt per hour battery pack, nine speed automatic transmission with all wheel drive on pure EV, you could do around 40 miles on pure EV and the way vehicle weighs 4,718 pounds. And if you're measuring, this vehicle does have 7.1 inches of ground clearance. So like I said, best of both worlds, don't have to worry about range anxiety, but let's fire this up and see it in motion. All right, guys, we're inside this Mercedes-Benz GLE 450E. I know you're saying to yourself, well, Joe, uh, I'm very happy that they still make midsize SUVs that are only two rows. I don't need three rows. I use protection. We had kids planned, and we have enough, and I don't want any more, and I don't need any more. But I am thinking that I need this 450E. How much is it? So depending on how you're option it, that's going to be a big factor. But starting price for the GLE 450E MSRP is right around $76,000. Let's see what you get for the money. To the door panels. I like the two-tone. It almost feels very Italian, to be honest with you, even though it's a German car, so you're getting the dark leather style with the tan, the contrast stitching. I love the way they're doing that pinstripe within the gloss black. Really kind of changes up the look and feel of the door panel. Of course, we have the premium uh, sound system with those aluminum speaker grill covers, the seat controls highly placed, three memory seat settings, and heated and ventilated seats. Door pocket is ginormous for a huge German pretzel with extra salt and get a big old container of mustard in there and a bottle of root beer to wash it down. Now going from the door panel to the dash, same story. The stitching, the leather style, the pinstripe, it reminds me of the New York Yankees. And then coming on in, you're gonna get large screens in front of you. Two screens, both 12.3 inches. Of course, you have your navigation. I like the way they use a little tiny GLE. I wish it was Cardinal Red instead of Silver, but it's full touchscreen, 
just like you've seen in other Mercedes-Benz applications. We have that hybrid component, lets you know how much battery you have charged, your consumption, your energy flow, the whole shabam, and that's where the battery is stored. So that's why there's a little less storage space than in your standard internal combustion engine. There's the electric motor if you ever wanted to see where that was. So kind of cool the way they have that information. You have your, of course, engine data like you normally do, plus you have your different modes. So we have individual, sport, hybrid, electric, battery hold. Now what's interesting about battery hold, that's like with the Jeep Wrangler 4xe where you won't use the battery charge. You could save it for when you need it. You do have off-road mode and that air ride suspension. So they really got you covered when it comes to the different modes. You could go full electric, the hybrid, the sport. You know when we go on throttle what we're gonna be doing, full sport. But great graphics, I love the way the vehicle looks on the screen. Throw it in the reverse, super clear resolution. Trajectory, your 360 cam, and then obviously by touching the screen you could go every which way from Sunday. Hooking up a trailer, look at this, we're way back sort of like drone style. They really got you covered perfectly in this thing. And if you're wondering, well, what's this over here, Joe? This is the lever for the transmission, the nine-speed automatic. I put it back in the park. We're right back where we started. You have that very unique aeronautical style to the AC vents. You do have all of your nice toggle switches. It does get gloss black heavy here, but the good news is I think many people are gonna be driving like this. Why? You have your wireless charging, two USB-Cs, a 12 volt, and you have two cup holders that are chilled or heated. So you can heat or chill your drinks. If you don't like touching the screen, you do have your little mouse pad, and then they still give you other switch gear for volume, your dynamic mode, a nice little palm rest, a place for some Mentos in case you've been eating Funyuns and you're about to kiss somebody. Push that button, bombs away, what do we got? USB-C, and you got enough room in there. I would say you could fit, hmm, six He-Man action figures. They're not dolls, they're action figures. So you could get He-Man in there, Skeletor, a couple of the other ones, maybe She-Ra. Maybe you had a sister and you took her She-Ra doll because now, or I should say action figure, sorry. Sorry about that. Now you wanna sell it on eBay? Keep them in there because they have felt lining and they won't get scratched. It's good advice from me to you. Seats, the leather, massive headrest, perforated, Decent bolstering that's comfortable, and you have a nice wide seat cushion, full power assist, passenger, driver, and we have that massive panoramic sunroof. So they got you covered every which way. I know somebody asked, maybe a couple video, videos ago, why don't you open up the shade all the way? Because I don't want to. It just takes too long. I want to move on. Since we're talking about moving on, get your butt over here. I want to show you behind the steering wheel and the business end of this Mercedes. Guys, before I let you in, I wanna show you where that charge port is. That's on the driver's side. That's where you're gonna plug in. And remember, you're looking at about 40 miles on a single charge. So if you think about it, if you leave, if you live like 10 miles away from work, you wouldn't have to use fuel at all driving to and from work. Now, you do get that nice classy sill plate, the Mercedes-Benz logo lights up. Inside, it is ultra comfy in here, and this is what Mercedes-Benz does very well, is not only the comfort, but all the fine touches. Because the controls are, like I said, on the door, the seat cushions are wider, they kind of nestle you without squeezing you. Steering wheel, leather all the way around. I could do without all the gloss black, and I wish there was some actual stitching on the horn button, so I am gonna zonk that. But you do have your paddles on the back of the wheel, and we do have an electric tilting and telescoping steering wheel. 12.3 inch digital display. You could put your navigation in the center, or you could scroll through a cornucopia of different information, which is great. And the way you do it is just by adjusting your finger on the switch gear on the steering wheel. So they got you covered there. And you have all of your battery readouts as well. But let's go ahead, let's get in the back seat and see if your passengers are gonna be happy that you went Mercedes-Benz over the competition. Hey guys, back seat time and I mean, you're just swimming in space back here. There's tons of room, not even close to the panoramic sunroof whatsoever. They do have the leather that comes around most of the seat and then they have this soft touch material which is easy to clean your kids' boogers and fingerprints from eating powdered donuts and stuff. They do give you the cargo net and it's not my favorite, but you actually could put a large first aid kit here. How do I know that? How am I gonna prove it to you? 
we have our official Mercedes-Benz first aid kit. Plenty of room. There you go, see, I tell the truth. Back area of the console, you do have your AC vents. The one thing I'm gonna zonk, even though they give you a little tray here for one Twinkie, normally I wouldn't zonk that. I wish that there were AC controls for the rear seat passengers because look, they have another tray down below for their Twinkies and USB-Cs. So controls would be a nice touch, especially at this price point and being a Mercedes-Benz, I would like to have that. Seats though feel fan-freaking-tastic and you have all the seat controls up top just like on the front seats. Pull this down. It feels like a brick that's been wrapped in leather, but it's nice because you gotta place the rest of your arm and two massive cup holders. But while we go ahead, let's check out the cargo area and see if there's plenty of room, even though there's a lithium ion battery pack sitting below. Let's go check it out. All right guys, cargo area time. Hit the button right underneath the iconic Silver Star, probably the quietest of opening and closing lift gates on an SUV, you're gonna be greeted to quite a bit of space, about 30 cubic feet of space. Remember, and that's including that lithium ion battery pack. Love the quality of the carpet. Mercedes-Benz does a great job there. You do have the ability on the passenger side to fold down the rear seats to maximize your cargo. And then on top of that, they give you this nice little carry bag. And what's in it? Let me show you. We unzip it. This is your charging accessory with the Mercedes-Benz logo. And then you can keep this in the back or you can just walk around with it and just let, you know, kind of brag to people, hey, look at this. And they'll be like, what is that? They'd be like, this is for my Mercedes. I personally will just leave it in the back. That's what I would do. But you know what? I don't know about you, but I want to see this thing go. If you're ready, I'm ready. Let's go on throttle in our GLE 450E. All right, guys, we are inside this Mercedes-Benz GLE 450E. Now what I did was, is I went ahead and went through the dynamic controls into electric. So right now, I'm actually driving on pure EV, not using the internal combustion engine whatsoever. And you can see that because there's nothing pick, being picked up by the tachometer, which remember the tachometer measures revolutions per minute. So this is just one of those ways, like I said, to really differentiate this vehicle from the competition using that nine speed automatic transmission with pure EV power. I got over 50% charge. And then what's nice is, is that you have that ability to do some regen braking by using the paddles. I just hit the regen braking. I actually don't have anything on the, on the pedals and it's slowing me down or you could then go back into the dynamic control settings and use hybrid, which then it would turn on the engine for you. And you use the best of both worlds. But I'm gonna keep it in electric right now, just because that's one of the bigger features of this vehicle. Now, visibility is great out the front. You got a large head up display. Everywhere you're looking and touching, the materials in here are very nice. And I'm very happy to report that the gloss black is not creating a bunch of glare. Even the gloss black on the center console area. But of course, the 12.3 inch screen is so easy to use, so easy to navigate through. There's our readouts like I was showing you earlier. I'll do the energy flow. And that kind of is cool to let you see those different features. We got our dual climate. Love the way it still displays the temperature. And it's very, very quiet in here which is nice. They did a great job with the sound dending material. All right, pulling away from the light, like I said, pure EV. You can see the energy flow really cool, showing how it's powering all four wheels. Love the graphics, very, very clear. And just super smooth, as you could imagine, instant torque. And then once you start uh, applying more throttle, then the engine kicks in. But if you're keeping it around 45 miles an hour, 50 miles an hour without using heavy throttle, then it just stays pure EV. And having that ability to adjust the regen braking is a nice extra touch that comes with the benefits of having a pure EV. Let's you know that it's recuperating, not regen, it's called recuperating. But just 
really great how the system works. It allows you to understand how it works. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and go into full sport mode. So that will then activate the two liter four cylinder turbocharged engine paired with the electric motor and the all wheel drive. And we're gonna see how on throttle feels with that setup. So you are gonna get some of that familiar sound of a four cylinder engine, of course, because that's what we're dealing with. But it's going to surprise you just how quick this vehicle is. It's not like your typical four cylinder turbocharged engine. I'm gonna slow down here a little bit. On throttle, here we go. Nine speed drop down and we're off. Very, very smooth, fast shifts. Getting on the brakes, you are gonna recharge some of that battery. And the handling dynamics is great in here. On throttle, here we go. Look at the graphics. I am loving the way though, how you have a dual personality with this vehicle. I'm gonna to come to a complete stop. We're gonna go on throttle. On throttle, here we go. I'm telling you, it's got get up and go. Not too shabby from this setup, that's for sure. And then when you get on the highway, you could adjust your dynamic mode. You could go full electric, you could do battery hold, or you could do your hybrid setup. Or if you want everything to be custom tailored to you, you could do individual. That's really where you're gonna be able to get those nice comfort settings, put it in hybrid, and just cruise down the highway. Really maximizing your range, but still having all the same great things that makes a Mercedes-Benz a Mercedes-Benz. Especially with our flow chart. I mean, look at this, I get off throttle, and now we're recharging the battery. That, to me, really is cool to show that because it allows me to really let you know what the system is doing when it does it. Really, really great graphics there. They did a great job with setting all that up. And that's why I say, I think a lot of people don't understand or appreciate what you're gonna get from a plug-in electric hybrid. It really does give you the best of both worlds. All right, guys, we're gonna go back on throttle. On throttle, here we go. Gonna get back out on the highway. It actually tells you how when the electric motor is providing boost, getting that electric boost from the plug-in hybrid setup. Just being a former high school history teacher for 18 years, I like this because it helps educate people because I think that's one of the biggest things a lot of people still don't understand the difference between a hybrid, a plug-in electric hybrid, and a full battery electric vehicle. And this really kind of allows me to have a great visual to educate or you educate yourself by owning this vehicle. But I hope this has been a good enough overall review of the Mercedes-Benz GLE 450E. We're gonna get back to where it started and wrap this one up, so I'll see you in a split second. All right, guys, it's been an electrifying kind of day here on Ready's Rise with this Mercedes-Benz GLE 450E. Definitely gotta thank everybody at Mercedes for getting us access, early access to this press fleet vehicle. Let me know what you think. Has Mercedes-Benz created the secret sauce in that electrified future with the internal combustion engine? Or are you gonna go BMW X5e? Or are you gonna say the heck with electrification and just go Genesis GV80? Let me know down in that comment section. But if you're new to the channel and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile. Come back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radius Rise family. Of course, we need to give it up. Stephen Flood, Stephen Flood Photography, working it, no matter if it's an electrified vehicle, gas engine, diesel, or even wind-powered. Steven is all about capturing it on film. So show him some love in the comment section. Thank you, Steven, for all that you do. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.